this is what we're going to be doing. When we go to the next step, which is to set your intention, what I want you to do is I want you to start from the lowest to the highest is identify what is it that you're unhappy with and what do you envision your life to be like in those areas. So for me, I'm going to give you an example. So my health is one. The reason why, and you won't have to share this with me, this is really a personal discussion, but for me, the reason why my health is a one is because I am overweight. I don't have any energy. I like I'm I feel like I'm damn near narcoleptic every time I eat I fall asleep I can barely stay up right I just don't feel my best right so the vision for me is to be to, to have more energy to be lighter like or less you know less heavy and um so that's what that's what I see the vision for me to be like you know another one that I have is in my personal passion I have a very strong business drive but I don't have any hobbies so the vision for me is to create that balance in my life where I see myself having, you know, more personal passions that are not related to work, right? So that's what we want to do in this step two is set the vision for those areas of your life, starting with the lowest areas and then moving to the highest areas. So pick any one of those ones that you want to elaborate on during this class. It doesn't have to be those lowest ones but the idea is for you to pick the lowest one. We're obviously during this class gonna be focused a lot on business examples, but if your, you know, your thing that you wanna focus on is your health or whatever, pick whichever one of these six items we went over and let, let you spend about two minutes. My area last year was family. Um, I, I didn't really have a lot of stuff going on with the family. I wasn't doing a lot of activities. So the intention that I wanted to set last year was to see family more often and dedicate real time to connect and catch up. So in this area, dream big. I don't want you to be like, well, you know, I just want to, you know, I just want to be, I just want to be healthy. No, what does healthy look like to you, right? One of my uh, dreams, and I, and I say this out loud, I'm going to say it out loud because I'm going to achieve it in 2020. I want to do a small marathon. I always, I don't want to do like the full marathon. I want to do the small one, whatever that small one is. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that's what I want to do, right? So dream big. Don't be afraid. This is your life, your goals. So set them how you want to, okay? So we're going to take about, I'm going to give you guys about five minutes to work on this. You can set the intention for how many ever you can in five minutes, or you can just focus on one. We'll talk a little bit about it and then we'll go to the next step. All right. Does anyone have any questions? Let me set the timer.
how did you guys feel about this exercise? Easy to do, hard to come up with your vision, or you have a real clear idea of what it is that you want to achieve? It was easy to do. Easy to do? Yeah, no, no problems trying to envision what you would see your business like, your health like. Right. <laughs> what did you say? What did I, I didn't hear what you said? I said no. The, um, not really. Um, having any problems. Um, figuring it out is just sticking to what you know the goals that I've set. So the identification process is not the issue. You think it's really the implementation yeah. of it. Okay, so we're going to talk about a little bit about that um, later on in the class. How about everyone else? Andrea, how do you feel about easy to set the intention? Yes, it was. All right. So you know exactly. All right. Anybody else have an area of business that they want to uh, improve upon their business? My business number is about a three. No, Lorraine, yeah, how are you for you to set the intention for your, what you want to see your, your life or your particular areas of your life? So my business is, uh, is at a one. Okay. Yeah. So I know I have a lot of work to, to do within that area. Um, especially with time management. Okay. Would be my number one goal. All right. Work. Um, this coming in. Okay, so so I want to make sure for this area, you guys are not really trying to figure out how you're going to get there, but just what do you, when you think about your business, Lorraine, what would you like your business to look like? All right, so you know it's a one. If 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 you had a, you know, if you regardless of the, the, the how you did it, what would your business look like for it to be a five? Uh, it's going to look like, um, so, I'm trying to think in words like how to put it, you know, um, I guess I'll be, it, it would be easier for me to have customers come into, gravitating towards me instead of having to, to uh, constantly ask friends and you know associate if they if they are interested in in a promotion deal that I'm putting out there so it would be there for for me to to have people come in towards me without without having to to do that part okay so a good way to to speak that or write that would be you know customers naturally or naturally attracted to your business without you having to go and seek out those customers that that's a really great vision what else? Well, my, my goal plan I'm hoping on is being able uh, to replace my income. Okay. All right. Put that number down. You don't have to share it, but put the number down. So I always want um, people, because, you know, a lot of people tell me I want to replace their, I want to replace my income. Well, put the number down. So you're very, um, put the number down. So what does replacement of income look like? What does that look like monthly? What does that look like annually, right? Because the more information you have in terms of articulating your goals, again, the easier it becomes for you to be able to, to measure how close you are, how you're doing that. So put your numbers down. So for, you know, if you want a specific uh, financial amount, know what that number is, okay? Uh, Cynthia, how are you doing? How was it for you to um, set the intention for your uh, life or what the areas of your life? Um, it's, it's good. Um, at this moment, I think that um, the training that I'm going through with your, um, you know, in your program has really worked me out and um, opened up my eyes to everything I could possibly do. And I just didn't know exactly how to do it. So I put down, as I mentioned earlier, health was my number one. And then I put down as number two as my business, because I'm not 
there yet to where I can replace my income, which is my ultimate goal. And so I think just working with you and the program, I can definitely get there and replace that number that, um, you know, I want to do. Okay. So just like I just mentioned to Lorraine, put the number down. Mm -hmm. I'm very clear about what replacement of income looks like for you on uh -huh. a month annual basis. Um, and then I've also kind of like for next year, because, you know, we're starting where this is, I got a little bit ahead of myself and I just kind of multiplied that by 12 and then how I could possibly get, you know, each month, like how many, um, how many clients possibly could get me to that monthly goal. And I, I, I really went down into detail on this. <laughs> Cause that's exactly where we're going to go. Right. Yeah. Um, yes. I, I mean, I, I have to, so I can see a bigger picture and I can keep track of myself because then if I didn't, I, I don't think that's something that I have never done with that. You know, I just, I, I need to be a little bit more obedient and disciplined on what I need to do to get to where I want. So Absolutely. I had to, I had to really micromanage all that stuff so that way I can, I, I know what I need to do and where I need to be. Perfect. All right, good. Well, ladies, I'm excited for you. This is your life. You get to define exactly what it is and how that looks like for your life. Um, so, you know, we only took five minutes. My recommendation is for you to spend a little bit more time on this later um, and really write out what, where you see each of these areas of your life and how you envision them. Okay.